Do you find it hard to get an overview of your model C++ namespaces? The new namespaces view comes to your rescue. Hello, my name is Harald Brunner from the DaVinci Developer Adaptive Team. Spring is coming and also the new release 2.11 from the DaVinci Developer Adaptive with the following highlights. The new namespaces view supports you while working with elements that define your C++ namespace. The view gives you a tree of all used C++ namespaces from interfaces to data types and error domains. You can also filter this view by usage in a certain executable. We want to improve our tools for you and therefore we would like to get feedback. 2.11 contains a telemetry implementation that can collect anonymized usage data. Of course, your model data, so element names and values, stay confidential and are not collected. When you start the new version the first time, you'll be asked to participate, and I kindly ask you to do so. Also new is the quick feedback feature. Via the button in the lower right corner of the help menu, you can send feedback to us. Also, you may participate in the customer satisfaction survey. The diagnostic editor got a facelift. Output configuration that is only relevant for the interface builder moved from the configuration tab to the interface builder tab and is more fine-grained. Output configuration for the port allocator and mapper is now also available on that page. Cheat sheets can teach you how to work with the developer adaptive. We have updated all existing cheat sheets and created a new one for signal to service mapping. You can find this via the help menu. By following the precondition steps, you'll get a base model with some signals contained in a PDU. In the next steps, you'll add an incoming service event to a software component that will be triggered upon reception of that PDU. As an outlook, we are currently working on a feature that automates major parts of this procedure. These are the highlights of version 2.11. We really appreciate your feedback, so please make use of the new quick feedback feature. Thanks for watching. <laughs>